Alright guys, today we have the Dark Magician branded Dogmatica deck profile. I'll move the extra deck out of ways, we'll get straight on into it. Now right off the bat there is something controversial, and that is we are on one Dark Magician. The reason for that is Lebellion can recycle it obviously, and also in branded DM you tend to make Dragonite a lot more than you do in pure DM, so you technically still have two, and as we get into the deck profile I'll show the couple of cards... You can cut and play a second one if you want, but if you play a second one, just know you're going to brick more. One, Mana as your light target for Albion plays, and then two, Fauna Albaz. You really do need two Albaz right now for one, a Shizu tier, which you could argue you need two DM for that as well. Um, and it's also really good to have two Albaz in case your Lebellion or Albion gets Impermavalid, because if you do, you ain't recycling your Albaz to resolve Brain Infusion again, which means you're a Luber. Your branded opening and your branded fusions, they're all dead because you can't resolve it again if you only play one. So, two is the way to go. Moving on, we play one rod because a luber is the primary normal summon of this deck along with three magician souls. Not a whole lot to talk about here. Stock standard dark magician stuff. And we also do play two illusion of chaos. So in a way, because souls can get you DM, you're still on like... So can Illusion of Chaos if you really need to. Still on like six copies of DM if you really need it. But there are cards in here you can swap out. Just none of these. Then we will move on to the primary normal summon of the deck. Because it's significantly better than Magician's Rod. It is triple a Louvre to Jester Despy. I bought Secret Rares. The top one is a Secret Rare from the 10. But I ordered Damas. Or Dawn of Majesty of Lubers just because they're prettier. And I don't want to buy ult to use. So. That's it. It gets you any to your brand of star traps. Branded opening or fusion typically. You could play red. But red's kind of awkward to resolve in branded DM a lot of times. But you could play it. And we play one Albion the Shrouded Dragon. This card is good. And if you're going to play it. At least upgrade it to the super. Because it's dirt cheap. Don't play the common from the structure deck. It's essentially another copy of Upstart. You can also send Branded Opening off of it, which will protect your fusions from destruction. Obviously, Dragoon can't be destroyed, but Mirror Jade and other stuff can. So, he has that utilization, plus he lets you draw a card, and you can summon him some of the time. Now, we're moving on into the last two cards. That is one, Dogmatica Ecclesia, and one, Flutterly. I need to get a Secret Rare Flutterly, but that is it for the monsters. Again, you can play 2DM if you want to. Um, you could cut the Albion for a second DM, but it's not really one of the cards I prefer to cut. But anyway, let's move on into the rest of the deck, and there's two other cards you could cut for a second DM if you want. But the rest of this, so far monster card lineup, you really can't, but you could really, you could cut this, but I wouldn't do it. So moving on from the monsters. We're getting into the branded spells. So you got triple branded fusion, main power play of the deck, the whole deck resolves around that card. And you have triple branded opening, gives you protection and easy access into your luber. and can serve as an extender sometimes. And then one, Despia Theater of the Brain. You're like, Mira, why the fuck are you playing the Despia Field spell? Well, it's a better secret to dark magic because it doesn't have to control Dark Magician. And two, after you use it, you can just send it away. You draw off Magician Souls. So that's that. You could cut this for a second DM. It's one of the cards. And then one of the best spells, because you can actually draw two kind of consistently in this version of the deck. Soul Servant. I just hit the tripod because I'm not very smart. But Soul Servant, not a whole lot to talk about in Dark Magician. One of the best spells and traps we have ever received. It's better than Circle. Speaking of Circle, we play in one. You could play two. Um, but I'm on one. And we do play Secrets, unfortunately. Not really why you could cut this or cut this, but Secrets makes the uh, Mirror Jade Dragoon end board a lot easier than I did in the test hand video, which I will put at the end screen and link in the description, either or or both. I don't know, it just depends. If I remember when I'm editing this, and then we do play one Magician Salvation. One thing I like doing to Master Duel in Brandon DM is playing two Circle, two Eternal Soul, just because it makes Dragonite better. In TCG though, Dragonite's not that is not as good, but if you wanted to, you could do that as well. But we are on one Eternal Soul for the last Dark Magician card. 
unless you include two prep as Dark Magician cards, because we are really only playing it for the Dark Magician stuff, and one Upstart Goblin, just because it works out so well with Soul Servant and Circle, you have to play it. Even with the Albion, I still play Upstart, it just draws, adds consistency to the deck. And this Ultra Rare I got off, I got at my locals, is so pretty. It's a little bit of dirt on the sleeve, but the Ultra is really pretty. But that's the main Spell Trap lineup, for the most part. Except... The one I forgot until now, and is one of the power plays and helps you go second, and can recycle your Albaz, is not a dear servant. Secret rares are pretty. Those secret rares. Shop owner at my local is giving me a good deal. 40 for the playset. The dear servant is really good. You can send Dragonite or Garyua to get draws. And get your Dogmatica cards rolling. It's pretty fucking good. And then for board breakers, we're playing three Super Poly because this card just bullies rogue decks. And it's just really fucking good. Also, because you're playing branded, most of, a lot of the cards in your extra deck are indirect Super Poly targets. Like if you normal summon mirror like Albaz and don't use the effect. Super Poly baby, make a mirror jade. Then you're playing one punishment. This is another card you could cut for a second Dark Magician. Um, honestly, I don't like punishment. But because I don't have a second or unit in the extra deck to make Nadir more like engage, that's why I want it. This card's good, it's just so awkward a lot of the time. And because Branded gives you a lot of recursion, and Nadir can also set up recursion by sending Albion to the grave, you don't really want to use Punishment. It's a little awkward. But this is it for the main deck. So, in recap, you could cut Theater, you could kind of cut Salvation if you really wanted to or Punishment for a second Dark Magician or the Albion or I guess Upstart if you want to play either or but Upstart or Albion and then Punishment Theater or Salvation if you wanted to or the cards you could cut for a second DM no other cards but one DM is what I prefer so moving on also you could play um, if you don't like the Dogmatica cards or if you don't own it one thing you can do is play whatever assortment of hand traps or bestials you prefer. So we're playing six. So you could play like three imperm, three Nibiru, three imperm, three draw. Um, and like two, two, two of the main bestials. I think Serenair, Druus Worm, and Magma Up. You could do that. Not bad. But moving on into the extra deck, two Dragoon. Still like playing two Dragoon. Um, one Dragonite because it's an Adir tar target slash punishment target. And you make this sometimes. Not all the time, but you do make it sometimes. One Master of Chaos, you could cut this card for anything. Um, it's really only here for the OTK you can do some of the time. But you, you could cut that card. Then we are playing two Mirror Jade because Mirror Jade is really good. Sometimes your Dragoon is not the optimal play. Make Mirror Jade instead. Because Mirror Jade, just sending Albion and getting you Brain of Fusion can set you up for a Dragoon play anyway. So sometimes Mirror Jade is better than Dragoon in this deck. But neither one is really all that bad. When you're playing one Lebellion, you could play two and cut that. But I prefer one for right now. I'm also playing Brain of Despia, you really only need one. But you could play two. You could also play Tragedy in the main deck and search a Luber off that way as well. And we play in two Albion. You could play a third of this card, but really only seem to need two. And for the last Despia one, we are playing one Despian Quartus. This is like a poly target slash super poly target for like a Luber. But you don't have to play this card. This card makes going second a lot easier. This card can checkmate Sword, Sword Soul in different matchups, but Quartus is really good. One Titanic Clap for the Dogmatica stuff. Again, even if you cut Punishment, I probably wouldn't cut this card because you can just send it off Nadir and still search like Albaz or whatever. Or you could send it off a of Mirror J because it lists following an Albaz. Especially summon a Klee and get your Flare to Lee on your opponent's turn. Or it is kind of an indirect Super Poly target you use with Albaz. It's Super Poly effect. Or just use normal summon Albaz, no effect, use Super Poly. So pretty good that way. 
One Guardian Chimera, you'll probably never really make this card, but it's here. You can make it, you can go into it sometimes, it's kind of awkward, you can cut it. One Entis for Nadir slash Punishment target, not a whole lot to say there. Then the two Super Poly targets are Garyua, which you should play too. If you have to, play it. And then one Starving Venom because it's generic and good. But, I would highly recommend cutting Master of Chaos or Guardian Chimera for a second one of these. Or you could cut both, both and play a second one of this on Mud Dragon or Estepelia. And play four super generic super poly targets. But this card off Nadir is cracked. And this helps you in the sprite matchup. You could also just cut either one of those and play Artemis. But you're not really normal summoning Rod in this deck a lot of the time. So it's not super... Like... It doesn't happen a lot. This deck is slightly different from the test hand build. I wasn't playing super poly. I was playing like a third prep and some other stuff. But... Overall, it's still basically the same. And I hope you guys enjoy nonetheless. If you're new here, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And peace.